Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and in this video we will create our first Django project. But hold on, to work with Django we have to install Django first and unfortunately we don't have a setup here. Now when you say you want to install Django, of course you have to be specific with the OS you are working with because for different type of OS we have a different setup for Django. Uh, if you are using a Linux based OS or if you are using a Mac, they have almost the same step. But in Windows, we have a different settings to work with. Now in this series, we are going to start with Windows for various reasons. Uh, the recording software which we are using is it works well on, on Windows and most of the people are using Windows. I will still suggest you to move from Windows to Linux to enjoy programming. But just to get started, let's start with Windows. Of course, the coding part will remain same, doesn't matter which OS you're working with. So let's get started. First of all, you need a setup. Now, if you want to work with Django, as we mentioned, Django is a web framework for Python. That means if you want to work with Django, you need a Python setup. Now, if you have seen my Python series, we have done the Python setup there and then we have learned so many things, right? Uh, so if you have done those things, if you have done the setup, you don't have to install Python again. It's there in your machine. But what if you don't have a Python setup? So that's where you will install it. Now, when you say you want to install something, there is one little question which is about the version. Which version we are going for? So for Django, we are going for version 2. To be specific, it is 2.2. Of course, if you are watching this video after some time, you will be having some new versions. But don't worry, like at least for 2x, they will not be having any major update. Uh, so that you can just check that on the documentation. Now, what type of Python setup you need? So if you want to work with Django 2.2, you need a latest version of Python, which is more than 3.4, I guess. Uh, so you just have to go to Google, just search for Python download, that's the website you have to go and click on that. Now, once you come to this website, you can see we have an option of download Python 3.7.3, which will surely work. It is more than 3.4, right? But you have to also check one more thing, which is the, the type of windows you're working with. Is it 32-bit uh, OS or is it 64-bit OS? And based on that, you can do the setup. Uh, so download the version which you have with you. Now, so this is 64-bit OS, I'm, I'm downloading that. Uh, so once you've got setup with you, you just have to go to downloads. So you just have to click on the setup which you got downloaded. So you have to make sure if your Windows version is 64, just do that. Okay, 64 OS. And then uh, you have to also make sure that you do this. You have to say add a Python in your path so that you don't have to do that setup late later. So just check that and here click on install now. It does take some time. Okay, so it says setup done for Python. Click on close. Now once you got your Python installed, how do you verify it? Best way, open CMD and that's your CMD prompt here. Okay, so here we have to check for the Python version. So the way you can do that is by saying Python hyphen hyphen you have to say version. Now it will give you the version of Python which you have which is 3.7.3. The next thing you need is PIP. Now PIP is a installer manager for Python. Uh, so when you install Python, you will get PIP as well. So just simply say PIP and let's check the version of this as well. And it should be 19.1 or 19.0.3, uh, both works. So you can see I have 19.1, the latest version. Now, once you got Python with you, once you got PIP, we have to also check for Django. Of course, we don't have a Django setup. Uh, the way you can verify that is by saying Django hyphen admin uh, version. That's how you. That's the Django uh, Django command you can use, and you can see it says there is no Django available. Uh, so of course we have not installed it yet. So we got Python, we got PIP. Let's install Django. Now if you install Django here, it will be available for the entire machine. Okay. So what if you want to have a different configuration for Django for different projects? Uh, so let's say if you're working with multiple projects, you want to have a different set for Django there. So just imagine from the entire system, you are getting an isolated space for your projects. Uh, so which will not be affecting the other projects which you have. And the way you can do that is by installing a virtual environment wrapper. So let's do that. So the command is pip install virtual env wrapper hyphen when and you just have to say enter. So it will install the virtual environment for you and that's done you can see we got the setup so once we got the setup for the environment we have to actually create the environment because this will not give you the environment this this will just install the uh, wrapper or the environment wrapper so we have to create an environment here the way you can do that is by saying it's mk virtual env space and you can you just have to give any name to it so time i will say test because i'm testing it 
and you will say enter so it does take some time and like so you can see we got our environment so what we have done is we have installed python and then we have we have installed a virtual environment wrapper and then we are, we have actually created the environment so the environment name here is test a small environment which where you can work and you can also see it says test here so just before your uh, command we have test there which means we are into environment now once you are in the environment now we have to install django let's do that and is it difficult of course not we have a simple command here so we can simply say pip install Django. I know uh, we are working with command prompt and some people don't like it, but come on, you're a programmer, right? This is something you should be, you should be loving, love doing. So we have PIP space install space Django and it will install Django for you. Simply say enter. Now based on your internet speed, based on your system speed, it will take some time. And that's done. You can see it says installed Django 2.2. This is what we wanted. In fact, you can, you can actually check the version now. So you can say Django hyphen admin version so you can see we got uh, oh something went wrong yeah so we got 2.2 so that's the version we which you are working with okay but what if if i open cmd again and if i check do we have django available here and you can see it says django is not available so that's the thing so django is there only in our environment it's not there for the system and that's what we want right we, we don't want to disturb the entire system just for our project so we have the environment where we have Django available. So we got Python, we got Django, and now let's create our first project. Yes, that will be done using Kamana itself. Okay, but then how will you do it? Now, we can do that in a particular project. So what normally I prefer is I keep all my projects in one particular folder. So let's do that. Let me create a folder here. So we'll say MK, uh, MKMDR, MKDR, and we'll say projects. This is where I will have all my projects. So we got a folder which is projects and let's move to that folder. So we'll say CD projects, oh sorry, projects and now you can see we are in that project. So that's great, we got a folder and we are into it and let's create our project here. Now to do that we have to use a command again but don't worry once you, you will get used to it. So we'll say Django hyphen admin so, so what you want to do, you have to do with this thing. You have to say Django hyphen admin and you have to create a project which is start project and I will give a project name. So that's the command. So Django admin and then you have to say start project and you can give any project name you, you want. So let's, since we are Telesco, we let's give our project name as Telesco itself and we'll say enter. But before doing enter, let me just go to this project folder just to see if it is empty or not. So I'm in my C drive. And in, so in user, we have Telesco, let's go there. And, and you can see here, we have a projects folder, which is empty. And the moment I say enter here, it will create a project for you. Let's go back to the folder and you can see we got a Telesco project. Now, what do you think? Will it be empty or not? Let's double click here. And you can see we do, it's not an empty folder. We have a manage Python file. I don't know why, why we need this. Let's say that later. And then we got a Telesco folder in which you have four different files. We'll talk about these things later, you know, what exactly these things are. But as of now, the important file here is manage. Okay, to access that manage, first of all, we'll navigate to the project which we have created. So the project name is Telesco. So you can see we are in Telesco now. And if I say LS, oh, that's Linux. If I say DIR, you can see we have a folder which is manage.py. Uh, so we have this file. And then in Telesco as well, we have settings file, which is important. Uh, we have URL. We are building a website, right? So of course, in the website, you will be having a lot of URLs. So this is this will be used to handle that. Uh, this is something which will be used to deploy your project on the production server. Because while you're working, while you're learning stuff, you will not be working on the production server. You'll be working on a development server, the testing server, basically. Uh, so we'll be using this. We don't actually use init, so we'll not talk about that. Okay, so we got our project, we are into that project now, but what next? We have not done any coding as of now, but still you can, you can run the project, this particular project. Uh, and you can run this on a particular server, of course you need a server, right? Uh, Django says, hey, don't worry, since you are installing Django, we will also give you a lightweight server. And to access that, we have to say Python, and we have to use a file which is manage dot py we have seen this file before and then the command we have to use is run server and the moment you say enter you can see you got your server up and running without any errors 
It also says some different stuff, we'll talk about that later. In fact, in the theory video, we have talked about MVT, right, which is model view template. In model, it works with database, right, it, is, it handles data. That's why it is giving you those warnings, but as of now, let's ignore them. What is important is, it's, it says your server started at this IP address. So this is your local host address basically, and the port number is 8000. Of course, you can change this port number. Uh, but I will just go here, I will say 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and you can see this is your Django homepage. Okay, why we are getting this? Why not our own project data? Because we have not done any coding as of now and that's why you are saying this. If you want to experiment, you can simply click on, you can see below we have tutorials, a polling app, you can just go there. It will show you the steps, how to, how to get a project. You know, I just love documentation part here. Uh, so you can follow this documentation just to, just to learn more. So that's how you do the setup for Python, for Django, and we have created our first project without any coding of, coding of course. So in the next video, we'll write some code and we'll do some experiment here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.